This week, the goal is to build a rolling chassis. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Mint Custom. All the parts are starting to arrive. So I decided to start throwing it all together to see what would fit and what wouldn't fit. I had the yokes machine so the Olin's forks would fit in the yokes. Uh, I measured the front wheel so I could make up some wheel spacers. Don't scratch those rims. I measured the offset on the discs so I could make some spacers to get the discs fitted and measured the calipers so I can get the calipers machined so they would fit the disc without hitting the spokes. Turn up the music! Oh wow, looking good! Spent two or three days measuring everything, making wheel spacers, fitting wheel spindles, getting the wheels perfect, getting the discs perfect. And then all of the focus went on to making the subframe. But before we finalise the subframe, we've got to figure out what to do with the seat and the tank. This combination simply wasn't working. I had to find a better tank. If I could climb, if I could choose, I know I'd feel with you. Back to the drawing board. Lose Perfect. Now the seat and tank is sorted, it's time to make the subframe. And the biggest challenge with the subframe was using this Moto3 seat. The seat was tiny, so I had to make the subframe fit into the seat, but also fit around the Olin shock I'm making for the bike. Took a serious amount of time to get it right. Progress is slow and tedious. How's the seat going to fit into the subframe? Oh yeah, I'm going to have to mark my entry point and then cut a nice slot, which I know will weaken weaken the Kevlar a little bit, but I've got no choice. We've got to run a subframe. I brought two Olin's TTX rear shocks and made one good one out of the two. I had to alter the length and the stroke and make some new spaces for the mounting points. It should fit perfectly. Let's crack on. Yay! Oh, look at that. Straight in. Beautiful. The spring and damping settings may need changing slightly depending on the overall weight of the bike and how it feels the first time I ride it. The suspension settings are all guesswork at this point. Once I knew the shock fitted, I stripped the whole bike and overwelded the frame and grinded off all the brackets and clamps. None of them are going to be needed. Some of the subframe welds were near impossible for me to weld, so I asked the super talented Hot Rod Tom to TIG weld them for me. Splendid job, sir. I feel some TIG welding lessons are in order. <laughs> so this is the basic rolling chassis. We've got steel trellis frame, Olin suspension. We've completely fabricated and TIG welded 
the subframe. The, all the wheel spacers are made so the wheels are sorted. The offsets on the discs are roughly in place where we want them. Um, I'm currently machining the calipers so they fit in nice and work properly. I've thrown that exhaust on there just so it looks cooler. There's no real reason of it being there. Footrests are in place, we roughly know what we're doing with them. Bodywork's roughly in place where it's going to hopefully finish up because I think that looks really good. Uh, roll on episode 3 where we start putting the engine in this thing. There's a few unknowns that I'm worried about. But I'm really looking forward to cracking on with getting the motor in, figuring out how to get the engine in this frame and get it working properly. It's going to be really interesting. It's all coming together nicely. If I could climb, oh, look, if I oh, could that's, choose, that's legit. I I'd be There's lots of small details that still need to be finished. But that blue and red is really starting to get on my nerves. I might just have to spray paint them black until I get it painted properly. <laughs> the sun is out. For the first time in about six months. <laughs> the days are flying by and I'm really starting to feel the pressure on getting this bike finished. And we still have the hardest job left to do, fitting the engine. Whoa, so bright! You can find all the music that's in our videos in the links below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Top yoke. Looking sexy. Do you know the one gutting thing about that yoke? Mm. Is the fact it's going to make the bottom yoke look really shit. Mm. I'm going to have to get a bottom yoke. Oh man. You think this tank will work, Dad? Yeah. That's the, the, the best out of the 20,000 tanks that you've had on there already. <laughs> <laughs>